Yeah, that's right. You. Where are you? You. You sitting in the corner. Another reason why my show is so late. Freaking playing with my notebook, hiding my notes. Jeez, that sounds like a look. Actually, you know what? That sounds like a pretty lame excuse. Oh! Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I am the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. I forgot I had this on play. You can always tell it because uh, it's kind of weird sounding. Um, I do apologize. This has been a very weird week. Last week I spent in suntan recovery. As you can tell, for the most part, everything, well, it's almost normal. That's a good sign. Uh, my cat was enjoying playtime and she just disappeared now. With my notes because I left them on the floor. Um, I was busy. I had work. One hour I was at work for about, geez, only seven hours? That's right. I left early. Then it was a full week of work, doing stuff, had to take care of stuff, and just more work. Yeah, this is from the 20th. So yeah, all the other days are marked off. So that, that kind of makes sense. Um, with that being said, I did manage to see... You know what? I'll be honest. I just haven't watched pro wrestling since Sunday, mainly because I've either been working at night or I went to go visit my friend up in Jacksonville, and that's good. So I do have some news and notes, so let's get some of that stuff done. And as far as Extreme Rules went, I actually predicted, oh wow, probably about six out of the eight matches, because I got one. I have to give myself a half for that because neither of them won. Neither of them lost. One, two, three, four, five. Five out of eight matches outrightly correct. And then I got my Stone Cold lock right. Yeah, the nap was right. And the match of the night was right. Yeah, so I gave myself an extra point and a half. So that bumps me up to six and a half points out of eight. So for the most part, that makes me inside, that gives me the working knowledge of what Stephanie McMahon Helmsley or Levesque goes through. I have some thank yous to give out. Quantum, you sir. Our master of the air guitar. Teflon Billy, you know your kung fu fighting technique, sir.
weakest point. Rally. You, sir. You always win twice because you get that six count. Yeah, so I think I gave you a different one because I was feeling generous. <clears throat> Again, thank you very much for your comments. Again, if you'd like to get your video shout out, I think Teflon Billy, I think you're only two thank yous away from being placed in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. This is a whole other thing. Um, so with that being said, this is a slightly older show. I postponed it for a while, so I can throw this away. It's good. Oh, he's good to crumple up paper. And crumple up this paper. Less paper to confuse me when I'm here at my desk. Let's talk about Raw from last week. Yeah, because it wasn't this week's episode. I didn't watch that. But last week's Raw. I'll say what. I thought this was a solid show. I thought this was a great lead-in to Extreme Rules. Even though Extreme Rules was not extreme, the Raw after Extreme Rules... That was extreme. Uh, this show started off. It was a biggie recap and promo. Again, he gave his tribute to the guy upstairs, Brody Lee, as the crowd chanted, We thank you, Brody. Thank you, Brody. So, yeah. Um, so that was good to see. Then we had, uh, So this match started off. New Day taking all three of them, taking on Roman Reigns and the Usos. Such a good match. Good classic start. The New Day. Going to do their tag team, the double team, the triple team. That's really good. Uh, Roman, again, he gets his hands on Kofi and just beats him up. Um, tosses him on the barricade. Tosses him on the table. Poor Kofi gets tossed everywhere. Jey Uso gets sent over the top rope. Kofi tries. Make a tag, but we'll stop there. Then we saw what we finally wanted to see. We saw Roman Reigns versus Big E. Champ versus Champ. That was great. Uh, Roman, he's just a step better. However, Big E did hit the big splash. Then Bobby Lashley goes gets involved. He goes after everyone. 
wait a second. I gave that this? I had to, because this was, this, if I remember it correctly, I think this match took at least 20 minutes before the end. Um, eventually, Lashley spears everyone. Uh, Big E gets speared through the barricade. That was great. Bobby Lashley just wanted to wreck people. I can appreciate that. You know what? It's the dusty finish, baby. Nobody won. Everyone got speared. That's a good way to have a dusty finish with no one winning. But I'll tell you what, this was still... It was a surf and turf match. Honestly, I'd lean more towards a crab cake and sirloin steak versus... Yeah, it would be a, a mock tender steak and crab cake. That sounds like a good surf and turf, though. Still... A surf and turf match. And Lashley goes, Boo Sonya Deville! Boo! I can't boo Sonya Deville enough! Boo Sonya Deville! Boo Sonya Deville! Boo Sonya Deville! Yeah, you know it's an off day because I'm wearing the wrong shirt too. Normally I do a WWE show with a WWE shirt. This time it's just Bullet Club. I did do something to that shoulder. That's weird. That's not good either. Um, let's see. Wait, where was I? Oh, yeah. Boo, Sonya Deville. But, yeah, Lashley confronts both Adam Pearce and Boo, Sonya Deville. So, yeah, we'll see. I just want to see Naomi slap the taste. I'll see Naomi slap the lesbian out of Sonya Deville's mouth. There she is. She's heading back to the bedroom, I guess. Um, yeah, that's right. So yeah, that's what it was. Next match was a big downer. Again, this is a very traditional bookended show. There you are. What do you have to say to these people, Cheese Pop, about hiding my notes? Oh, you just want to get your quick sniff in? Is that all I'm good for? Your quick sniff? Jeez. But no, she knows I love her, though. She's a fluff muffin. But yeah, then there was the Eva Marie versus Z-Drop match. Ugh. Um, Eva Marie went for the eye rake and a form, yeah, whatever. Then Eva got caught when she tried to splash, and my cat just jumped in the closet again. That's right, tomorrow I have to get Halloween decor down. Oh, I have to put the towels out, too. And the wine glasses! Oh, supersized Halloween wine glasses! Yes, you folks must see these. Excuse my, my pirate boxers. Yes, that's right. These come out. Almost Halloween time. So, yes. Oh, there we go. Yep. Look at these amazing wine glasses I've had for a couple of Halloweens now. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy these got to come out. And you know what? I'm going to take them out right now. Might as well. So, oh, my camera's lagging. I was moving too fast again. That's okay. This is going to need some time up. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Eva Marie gets caught. Power slam, fun splash. That's the end of that. Honestly, this was a terrible can of soup match. Now Big E is, Big e is in the office. Ooh, Sonya Deville. Miserable human being. Then Paul Heyman's in the office. Poor Adam Pierce. He has to deal with everyone and deal with Sonya Deville at the same time. That's terrible. So yeah, they're all going to have a match. Then we have our next match. This, again, was an excellent match. And you know what? More so than just going bookended... Now it's going like every other match is really good. Because this was Randy Orton, the Viper, taking on the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. So, uh, it's great. Orton starts off with a headlock. AJ tried to roll through. Great technical wrestling by these two. Orton, the arm bar, and then he just stomps the extremities of AJ Styles. That's always cool. Again, Orin's so good at, and deliberate at it. That's what makes it even better. 
Omos tripped up Randy. Once you do that, Omos, you got tossed, my friend. In the ringside area, uh, Randy just gave him kind of a nasty look. Riddle gets KO'd. That was so funny by Omos. So yeah, man, get out of here. Omos just says, I'm going to beat you up anyway. Um, AJ slams uh, Randy. It looked like there was like a cut somewhere. I couldn't tell where. It might have been like a like a really incidental thing, either like a nose or lip. Those get cut all. Those get busted open all the time in pro wrestling, only because the referee had to put the gloves on. I'm like, oh, where's the where's the blood at? Unless it was something along when he he went into the post or steps. I could see that. So again, it's not too, wasn't an intentional blade job. Uh, there was no dra draping DDT. AJ knows his moves so well. Um, a forearm into the RKO. We tried to do a flying forearm, the RKO, but then that got reversed into like a DDT. Again, amazing counter wrestling. I don't think AJ Styles could put on anything less than a ham sandwich match. Randy Orton, again, nothing less than a ham sandwich match. These, the WWE has so much talent. If you really look at the big picture of things, they should be crushing other divisions. And I should go hoboing soon. Yeah. Um, again, they knew each other's moves. Eventually, you do see the RK1 AJ Styles. Randy Orton wins. Can't complain. Amazing surf and turf match again. Proper sirloin and lobster tail surf and turf. Then there's the uh, Nia Jax and Shannon Baszler kind of recap and review. This was a pretty good match, actually. Nia, it was Nia Jax versus Shannon Baszler. Then this next up, some shoving. They're trying to recreate what happened with Charlotte Flair. And you can't, it's hard to do that only because that was real. And no one really, unless you're being told you're the bad wrestler that doesn't know wrestling it's hard to break that muscle memory like I know as wrestling as Hobo Tom I'd have to like like, like punches bites, kicks stomps to the groin maybe a pile driver because you've seen that before DDT, some kind of choke something you'd actually use on the street like I wouldn't be using body slams or arm locks, I'd be like no I'd like try and bite someone's nose off because that's what hobos do so it's hard to do that it's hard to get it's hard to get over the muscle memory and then when you're legitimate trying to legitimately trying to protect your opponent it's hard to do that too so there was uh, some shoves uh shana then hit some leg kicks naya in the good looking shoulder back breaker a, sh a shoulder breaker but Sh uh shana she in the tie clinch with the knees oh just vicious stuff um and then you could hear Naya. I, th I think Shannon's put the put the uh, rear naked choke a little too tight, and and Naya said, "I can't breathe." Yeah, that's the point of the rear naked, so that you don't breathe. You're either doing the choke, or you cut off the blood flow by the carotid artery, or you just use the forearm, the blade of the forearm across the neck, and you strangulate someone. There's a difference. A choke is when you're squeezing the carotid artery. A choke is uh, strangulation is when you just cut off the air supply, which is not good. Um, so that was good. Eventually, Shana does get the one with the care from the clutch and then breaks Nia Jax's arm, supposedly, on the ring step. That was great. She had that look. It's like, should I, shouldn't I? She's my friend. She's like, I need to do this, though. I need to do this to prove it to myself and to let her know, hey, I actually mean business. And then she had that look of regret the first time, not so much the second time. Good character, Bork. You know what? I'm going to upgrade that. That's going to be a cheeseburger match.
mainly because of Shayna's character work. Nothing for the most part of what Naya did. Definitely all Shayna on that one. Then we had Mansoor and, Mus and Mustafar Ali taking on Umberto Carrillo Dalegas and Angel Garza. And I'm like, wow, they finally put these two cousins, at, two real life cousins together into a real tag team. Smart play by WWE. I think they need to build it a little bit, but still, these two play off each other so great. They have great energy together. Obviously, being cousins, they kind of know each other. So that's good. It was a fun, fast match. A lot of flippy stuff. Ali hit a tornado DET, Mansoor, uh, flippy spot flights. I'll tell you what, there was the, the neck crunch suplex thing, which looked absolutely amazing. A broken fly, Garza, again, he has the wing clipper. The two of them work so well. Even though Mansoor and Ali lost, they still look really good in the match. Umberto and Angel Garza, they have, they have a lot of potential. Um, maybe tag team champions years down the road. We'll keep an eye on them. I'll tell you what, though. Overall, surf and turf. Uh, no, cheeseburger match. And there was a little carrying cross promo. Yeah, this is something super scripted. Not bad. I can get behind it a little bit. Uh, the Connor Cure stuff that was pretty. That was pretty fun. Alexis and um, Rhea Ripley kind of seemed really excited about that. Uh, Rhea Ripley seemed really emotional. I don't know if she knows anyone or she recently did like like um, a Grants of Wish thing. Like she was like literally on like the verge of tears though. Good to see her show emotion though. Um, Rhea Ripley does look amazingly gorgeous without her makeup. Nikki Cross still looks like a goof. I'm sorry. So this sets us up for uh, and with that. Once they said they're gonna dedicate their next match to that, the WWE can't have them lose. Very predictable point by WWE because uh, the next match was Rhea Ripley and Nikki Cross. I don't even care. I'm I'm so done with Nikki. Almost superhero. I think a lot of people are. They just think she looks like a goof. Mainly from her days of sanity and or as Nikki Glenn Cross, crazy like crazed woman. Again, if you're four foot nine. I guess you have to be either crazy woman or like goofy woman. If you're four foot nine, you really can't be in between. I guess. Rhea Ripley looks. She has makeup itis. The more makeup. And stylization they do to her face, the less prettier she looks. Just my opinion. Again, you can burn me for saying whatever. A lot of people, I think, might share that common opinion though. It's not. Outlandish. Um, they, they take on Natalia and Tamina. And I'll tell you what. I can't say much about the match besides one, Natalia does not like wearing underwear. Because she wears the, the things with the open sides or the mesh sides and there's, there's no straps there. Tamina's looking better. She does not look like Klingon, which is very important. Um... Natalia's tits got bigger. And I'll be honest. I went to the bathroom. And <laughs> by the time I got out of the bathroom, the belts changed hands. I have no idea what went on. If it was that quick, it was just a ham sandwich match, folks. I'm sorry. Then we had an Alexa Bliss playground with Charlotte Flair. Yeah, whatever. Then there was the Operation 24-7. Kind of done with the whole 24-7 belt. Next match, we had Jeff Hardy taking on Sheamus. Um, if Jeff Hardy, stipulation being, 
If Jeff Hardy wins, he gets to make the U.S. Championship a triple threat match. Again, it starts off pretty fast on the 10 beats. But the Belfast did not happen. Jeff Hardy countered that. Um, Hardy got caught into a spine buster. That was awesome. Um, she Sheamus got posted. And then um, Jeff Hardy then hits the uh, double leg drop and goes into his caught super combo. Or the hyper combo. As I used to say on... Oh, Killer Instinct, I think it was. It wasn't Mortal Kombat. Because it wasn't a fatality. Get over here! No, it was more Hyper Combo! So, yeah. That sounds good with the echo, actually. Um, what else then? Yeah, there was a splash. The Wrecking Ball dropkick's really good. Jeff Hardy's still looking up to the top. I think Jeff Hardy's saving himself. He looks like he's... Not going to the top rope, he's going to the second rope. I think Jeff Hardy realizes he's getting old and he can't fly from the heights that he's used to flying, which is kind of important. Uh, let's see here, where we go. Again, Jeff Hardy hits a twist of fate. And the ouch, there was no swanton. Over there was a sunset flip. And that's how Jeff Hardy wins. I'll tell you what, I was happy. Solid cheeseburger match. Then we have our main event. This main event was amazing. This was this actually was a really fun Raw. It was a good Raw minus like... There weren't a lot of segments in between. Minus the, the awful... Uh, it, it was an Eva Marie match. You can't say anything good about an Eva Marie match. So, but the main event... This is a true main event. Roman Reigns, one champion, versus Bobby Lashley, who used to be a champion, versus Big E, who's another champion. All three of all three of them look like champions. They look like they should hold a belt. Uh, Big E and Lashley, they just go right after each other. Roman Reigns is like, you guys can beat yourself up for a while. Uh, Big E eventually gets to the outside. This is when Roman takes advantage. He goes for the drive on Big E. Uh, Big E then stretches Bobby Lashley. Again, the big opponent, um, big uppercut by Roman Reigns, followed by some close lines. There was, however, no Superman punch. He got caught. And then, then we have our kind of our signature spot fest, which was good to see. Uh, Roman Reigns, again, the, the ten, 10 punches on the close line. We have the Tower of Doom, Doom spot with these three big, beefy men. That's when you do the Tower of Doom spot. That's when the Tower of Doom spot looks really impressive. Uh, Big E then goes for the three belly-to-belly -belly suplexes. Um, Big E then on the outside gets sent to the barricade. Then it's Bobby Lashley's turn. Hits the flatliner. Big delayed vertical suplex. That's so pretty to see. Uh, Bobby Lashley gets belly-to-belly -belly by Big E. Then Bobby and Roman, they fight for the... See who gets the, the pinfall. Who gets who gets to pin the corpse of Big E? Uh, Big E then gets thrown through the table. Then Bobby Lashley came with so many chair shots to Big E. Big E squash. Roman Reigns throws out Bobby Lashley. Roman Reigns pins an utterly decimated Big E for the win. The way it should be. Everyone looks great in this match. Roman Reigns comes on out on top. As, of course, the tr my tribal chief. Yes. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. My tribal chief. My liege lord. If I'm not Samoan, so he would be my liege lord. Roman Reigns wins. That was an amazing surf and turf match. There's one page left in these notes. This notebook. So that's good. And that was Raw from a week ago. Again, I do apologize for not getting up any, any sooner. Life happens sometimes. And sunburn happens. Or like deep... Not so much sunburn, but deep tanning happens. That's what it is. Okay, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, the rest of this week, I'll be doing live streams. I'll be, doing li be going live tomorrow for Impact... 
Time to see you guys up there. Friday, I'll be doing a three-hour show. Maybe. Actually, you know what? Just for sure, the two hours. Then as long as as long as Rampage is only another hour, that's not too bad. Four hours of wrestling does get a bit excessive. And I think that's it for the weekend. Wow. Well, 